basic concept. Live in salacious Sussex concrete takes 20 copies. I was going to review the latest Black Leather Jesus Smell and Quinn collaboration but the damn thing refuses to play in the computer. No CD player upstairs you see. The one downstairs is the dog's bollocks. You can hear it halfway down the street when the valves have warmed up in the neighbors and in. I'm considerate to fall I'll have you know. But not in here right now. I've played it a plenty when in the comfort of the pen. Cross it to hand. Saturday afternoon drifting by as I flit in and out of sleep awaiting the results and cocktail hour, but not tonight. Defeated by a CD so it's to cassettes I turn. The ever trusty cassette to which I was so unkind not so long back. I've had more cassettes since since I slagged them off than anything else. That'll teach me. So I put my hand in the velvet review bag and pull out live in salacious Sussex by the totally unknown to me basic concept and then I remembered that it came with the last ceramic hob single and that I played it a few times before and that. Basic concept was in fact Simon Morris on vocals and some bloke called Carl Anderson who mucks about with electronics and goes by the name Nil Binos. So Simon Morris who is not only the mainstay of the long-suffering Ceramic Hobbs and the mighty Smell and Quinn and is now also a published author. I saw him signing copies of his book at my last visit to the WC. Is now a rapper. Yes, a fucking rapper. Then I remembered that I'd watched a video made by Anderson which recounted two German dates they played in 2013 and I searched for it on YouTube but to no avail. It's one of those hey. We're off on tour and here we are in the bar at Manchester airport having a drink before we get on the plane followed by wobbly footage of people wandering European cities slightly pissed. So I played the thing again. Slightly remembering this time that I kind of liked its drug induced slowed down techno type vibe with Morris rapping singing all over it. And I still like it. Two lead tracks. One recorded in Brighton and the other in Worthing. Both of about 20 minutes or so in length and both containing the kind of music that I wouldn't normally rush to take with me on my holobobs. That is slow thudding beats with someone rapping over them. But it works damn it. What lifts this from the mundane is Morris's vocal delivery and his, yes, rapping. When Morris raps, I can't believe I'm actually writing these words. He appears to be having a conversation with himself, a dark moan at times. A wounded soldier shouting for help in a muddy trench. A filed coast 50 cents. Just don't ask me what he's rapping about. I think I got references to tinfoil and drugs and at one point he tries on warm leatherette and you only live twice for size but for the most part I'm guessing it's all stream of consciousness. It's all a lavalry laugh in it with Anderson's treatments. Shall we call them? Synth fucking about mess them. Morphing through different phases so that Morris's delivery isn't all thrown onto the same background. Daft thing is this. Morris and Anderson suit each other like a shitty seaside town in cheap alcohol. They were meant for each other. It bloody well works. Which surprises nobody more than me. Physical copies still exist and even if they don't you can listen to it all via the wonders of broadband.